How you doing? Brian Howard here with BK's Credit Group and BK's Credit Group .com. I want to come to you guys with another quick video. And in this video, I want to talk about uh, some things that you can do um, if you've been denied, been denied rather business credit, uh, particularly if you've been denied uh, business credit with uh, Experian Business. Uh, in another video, I'll do Dun & Bradstreet and Equifax and I'll probably even do a video with Credit Safe at some point. For, but for the purpose of this video, we're going to focus on Experian. So let's just say hypothetically you apply for a business credit account and you were denied uh, that particular account. Well, you can actually submit what Experian calls an adverse action notice. And so this is something that's not required by law, but this is something that Experian does as a courtesy. It's as if you request it. So it's almost like when on the personal side with your personal credit, when you're denied, you know, a credit card or something, they tell you, hey, in seven to 10 days, you know, we're going to send you information as to, you know, why we denied you or what bureau we did, you know, we pulled and what we saw on that credit report as the reason you were denied for that auto loan or that home, that credit card, or whatever the case may be. And they're required to do that on the consumer side by law. On the business side, they're not required to do that. But however, uh, Experian Business will do that. And what you can simply do is go to their website, Experian.com. And what I do is I actually put a link to this in the video. But what you can do is you can actually submit what they call an adverse action notice. And what that simply means is you apply for a credit. Someone pulled your Experian business credit report. And so because you are denied there, they will allow you to get a free copy of your business credit report as long as you make the request within a reasonable time. And Experian has deemed a reasonable time to be 60 days within 60 days of being denied for the credit. So as you see right here. It says if your company has been denied credit or is subject to an adverse action based upon information in an Experian business credit report within the past 60 days, you are eligible for a complimentary commercial credit report. To qualify, you will need a written adverse action letter from the creditor. Please contact them before proceeding if you do not have this in writing. The, adver the adverse action letter uh, typically provides me who, who the creditor is the business's name and address, and a reference to Experian as the source of the report. Um, a lot of times, you know, I, I've done this before for myself uh, back when I first started building business credit. Uh, it requires just a little bit of work because you have to kind of contact, figure out, you know, which department uh, within the creditor uh, will actually, prov you know, provides this letter, but, but they will provide it. Um, uh, I've had to get a couple for myself uh, back in the day. Uh, I've advised clients on how to, you know, on how to do it and they've been successful doing it. So it's just a matter of doing it. It's just a matter of if you apply for it, you deny calling them up, finding out which department handles credit denials. And they'll provide you a letter that that you can send to Experian. And then by sending that in to Experian at the email address below, uh, either in mail, either email it or mail it to the address below, Experian will provide you with a uh business credit report. So then you can actually see uh, what's on your report and why you, why you are being denied. I will tell you one of the funny things about Experian is, is with Experian, if you, if you have a business and you don't have any credit history, they automatically give you a failing score. So what that, so basically what I'm saying is, is just the simple fact that you started a business on paper, LLC, S Corp, C Corp, whatever, Experian goes out on a regular basis and extracts that information from the public record database so they know that you have a business. But because you don't have any active trade lines on your business credit report, they automatically give you a failing score, which actually kind of sucks, you know, because you would think they just wouldn't give you a score at all. But no, they actually give you a unfavorable score. So that's just something else to think about. Hope you found this video useful. I will put the link to this uh in the description below. This is Brian Howard signing out for BKH Credit Group. Thanks, guys.